Alrighty guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at how to hide and show toolbars. But uh, before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We have a variety of different softwares we do upload and also we upload software training videos daily. So um, just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, we've briefly covered this, uh, the showing and hiding of toolbars in the user interface uh, mini-series, but uh, it was a, a very brief coverage. So um, today we're going to look at a few different ways we can do this. Now, there's uh, multiple reasons why you might want to do this. And uh, for instance, let's say a toolbar is not visible or you've accidentally closed the toolbar then this is a great way knowing how to bring it back. And also just on a side note, this will be a mini series on the toolbars because we've got a few things we need to cover on uh, how to set them up and uh, change them around. So otherwise our first way we can do this is we can just navigate to view. Sorry, wrong button there. Let's try zooming again. <laughs> In any case, we go to view and then we want to navigate down to toolbars. The shortcut for that is Control T. If we click that, then it will pop us this uh, toolbar um, options. And then under this uh, toolbar, you can see we've got all the different toolbars we can bring out. So for instance, our standard toolbar, we can hide it, bring it back. Like I said, if we actually closed it, same with our main toolbar. And it's also a great place to kind of get used to what's their name. So like the view toolbar, that effects and so forth. And then another way we can do this, like um, I mentioned, is with the shortcut key we saw there. So that will be Control plus T. And then it will bring up the same option. Then also what we could do is on any white space on our um, blank areas on our toolbar, we can also right click and then we have all the toolbars there. So the same way you can just hide the standard. Or well, then you get a white space and you can put it back. Now, also another thing is, let's say we open a new toolbar. So there's many here that you could use. Let's say you use snapping too often and you want to, instead of going to a menu for it, you can always just throw a toolbar out. Now, as you can see, this is called a floating toolbar. So um, it's not docked to anything. So it's got a little close button on the right if you want to remove it. Or you can right click it and also say hide. And then you can also simply just drag it onto a white space and it will become a dock toolbar. Once again, we can remove it like that. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, this is a great feature. It might also be that you don't need, for instance, let's say the view toolbar. Let's say you're very comfortable with your shortcut keys and this is taking up extra space and you want to put another toolbar there. Then the same thing, you can kind of just right click, click on the view, then it is no longer visible. But for the sake of the tutorials, I will leave the view on. So that will be the first video on the toolbars. We navigate to softwaretraining.ca.za. Like I mentioned in the intro, it is um, we have a variety of different softwares we do cover. You can also um, isolate your search here if you're looking for anything specific. Or if you don't find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we will make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching. Until next one, cheers.